Some people think that parents and students ought to be offered educational alternatives to the traditional public school system through voucher or charter school programs. Vouchers allow families to use money that would have gone to the public school system to help them cover the cost of sending their children to private school instead. Charter schools are typically independently operated public schools created by teachers, parents, or others. While some favor school choice through charters or vouchers, others think they would create more problems than they would solve, and that the best route to a sound educational future is through reform of the traditional public school system. The following scenarios describe three communities, each taking one of these educational paths. Which of these three paths, vouchers, charters, or traditional public school reform, would be most beneficial to the students and families in your community, and why? This community has chosen to give families private school alternatives to the public schools through a voucher system. Vouchers allow families to use money that would have gone to the public school system to help them send their children to private schools if they want to. Vouchers can be used for religious or non-religious private schools. Those who like this approach often say, the public schools have been talking about reform forever with little results. Furthermore, the need to compete with private schools is the only thing likely to spur real public school reform. Young students here are motivated, eager, and attending classes in a one-of-a-kind school system in the United States. Milwaukee's Urban Day School is private, but low-income families can use tax money in the form of vouchers to send their children here. The voucher represents half the $5,200 the state spends to educate one child in the public school system each year. Those in favor of the initiative say it provides an option to a failing public school system. If people start to perceive that my child cannot go to school and be safe, first fundamental right, I will take my child out of the public school system. I send my daughter purposely to a parochial school here in town because she won't get the education that she needs in public school. I would like for her to pray in the mornings and they do that. It's just, just unthinkable that we would run an education system that imprisons people in bad schools against their will uh, and then comes up with all sorts of uh, spurious justifications uh, for why this is good for the kids or good for their community. The fact of the matter is rotten schools doing a lousy job and people want to leave them. Let them go. This community has chosen to concentrate on creating public school choice by establishing public charter schools. A charter is an authorization granted by the district or state that allows parents, teachers, or others to set up and run a public school. Space permitting, they must accept any student in the district who wants to attend. They are free of many state and district regulations, can hire their own teachers, and sometimes express a distinctive educational approach such as innovative teaching methods, a back-to-basics philosophy, or a special emphasis on the arts or technology. They cannot be religious schools, and they can be closed down if they do not perform up to standards. Those who like this approach often say, charter schools give families more options, which is important because no school system operating under a central administration and a single set of policies can offer what is best for all students. They will encourage all public schools to improve because less successful schools will have to perform better in order to keep students from switching to a charter school. The difference is that they have the virtues of the private schools along with the virtues of the public schools. I view them as a kind of a, a hybrid because they're publicly accountable, they're publicly funded, they're open to everybody, but they also have the independence from some of the bureaucratic public school structures. New Center 5's Kirby Perkins reports on a new charter school conceived by, organized, and run by teachers. There's the unmistakable tone here of teachers who care, but also will require discipline, effort, pride, and, well, dare we say it, those old-fashioned values that add up to self-respect and achievement. I think what's interesting about charters is that they only are chartered for a set amount of uh, time period. Uh, so that they sunset or are put out of business. If they're good charter schools, people like them, they're being effective, kids are learning, uh, they continue. Uh, unlike regular public schools that can be as bad as they want to be 
and continue year in and year out. This community believes that the problems of the public schools can and should be fixed. They feel that with smart policies, strong leadership, adequate resources, and community involvement, school reform can succeed. Those who like this approach often say, in a country as diverse as America, it's crucial that different kinds of children go to school together. Rather than creating healthy competition, charters and vouchers will only drain away needed funds, as well as the best students from the main public school system. A charter school is a good idea, a magnet school is a good idea, but these are all band-aids for the real problem. Why are we coming up with these alternatives for public school? Because we're really not solving the problem at hand. And it's a very large problem, and it involves the majority of the students in the United States. Across Kentucky, it appears that educators are doing the impossible. In isolated Appalachian schools. He's going to do airplanes. What do you Well-off suburban schools. Inner city schools. Student performance is reported going up at a rate unheard of on a statewide scale. The United States is a very unusual country, a very blessed country, because we've somehow learned to live with each other. And I think we can fragment the country very much more easily if we don't pay attention to the same issues in public education. Creating a private school don't make public schools any better. And then we got our whole society separated again, which we worked so hard to get them together to try to come and develop a common ground. Community A believes vouchers give families the most power to choose the kind of school they want for their children. Public school reform has not succeeded and will not succeed without competition from private schools to drive it. Community B believes public charter schools give parents more options without taking money out of the public school system. Charters will create the kind of competition that will encourage all public schools to perform better. Community C believes in a country as diverse as America, it's crucial that different kinds of children go to school together and share the common experience of public education. School choice, whether through vouchers or charters, is a distraction from the main job of making all public schools work.